In this video, senior lean coach Peter Watkins introduces what the different lean management systems are and why you need to have a combined approach. There are two key management systems in a lean organisation, one for performance and one for improvement. Peter explains this in further detail. If you just uh, do what uh, I call kind of uh, project lean, yeah, you tend to get this effect, yeah? This is performance, yeah? So you'll peak, you'll do the activity like you were saying, and it kind of drops away again, yeah? And you get this sawtooth effect of doing activity. And it really is not so continuous for people because you'll come to the project, you'll be a part of it, and then you know we'll do some other projects, and they may or may not be involved in that. Yeah, so it's not really continuous in their mind. Yeah. If we just did continuous improvement, which is more you know around small changes, yeah, all the time towards a goal or a target, yeah, we'll make an improvement, yeah, but it's going to take be very kind of gradual. It'll take a lot longer time, yeah. But what's better about that way? Steady. Not just one minute, yeah. Steady consistency and increase performance. Yeah. Well, the people involvement is key, yeah, because they're continually involved all the time, they're changing it and owning it more, yeah. Whereas what you get from my called project leads, less ownership after the project kind of comes and to the and not only that, processes have issues, don't they? Even when you've changed them, yeah, things change, yeah. yeah. So what we all want to try and do is do this continuous improvement, but also do the bigger changes as well, yeah. So you get this step effect, yeah. yeah. So you kind of make the big change and stabilise, yeah. Because performance management is all about trying to keep this stable once you've changed, yeah. And that's why a lot of companies fall over. They haven't got a good performance system, they don't understand it. Yeah, and what they do is making a step change, but actually what happens is you make a step change and it starts falling away. Yeah. And so so the performance management for that all we're keeping that on track once we make that change. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so this is the it's not really written about in any lean books. Uh, so Toyota has spent the first twenty-five years of doing lean <laughs> by putting in their processes because yeah, they didn't have any, so it was everybody else, and uh, developing a performance management system. And they still only recently in the last, I would say, 10, 15 years, have done that in their office areas. They didn't even have it in their office areas. So they can get even better, they've realised that now. Yeah, so they did a really good job of manufacturing, and you know, that's why they're 1500 uh, uh, a card cheaper than any other car manufacturer in the world that's manufacturing their products because they spent a lot of time doing this. But actually in their office hours they were great. They've actually got a lot going on in that now. Yeah, so it's really strange, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so but the difference is on the performance system, it's this gradual improvement and standardization and keeping the performance, whereas an uh, improvement system is all about making those step changes, yeah. But we want to, we need to do both. Yeah. Okay. 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 What questions, gentlemen? So the you bring in the efficiency, mm -hmm. you then you need to plateau to up to keep, which is basically yeah. what we class as a standard. Yeah. Keep the standard. Yeah. The trouble is to keep the standard may require more that more resources, more management changes. You need to factor that in at that point, which could add costs. Yeah. So, so it's not always necessarily at that point as cost effective as you think because you've got to change. You've got to choose your react to that one. <clears throat> to me, it's more about the, the, the using the people you've got and doing team working properly to manage that performance, yeah. What most companies do is just the leaders trying to fix everything, yeah. And these little problems, it's always the little problems that flare up to be big problems, yeah. And then the bigger it gets up, the more leadership get involved, yeah. So what we're trying to do is use the teams to manage their own point and take accountability for their processes, yeah. But you've got to have a really clear system yeah. to enable that to happen. So then it, it, it depends whether that's a problem or an improvement. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that's why we need two different yeah. systems. So now you're thinking the right way. So that's why we always make clear, are you doing, most people are actually not doing improvement. 99% of the time they're not doing improvement, they're actually just doing back to standard problem solving or everyday stuff, yeah. You've got to be really organised to do these step changes, haven't you? You've got to have projects, you've got to have resources, you know. Whereas what we're saying, actually, most people's job is to keep the, you know, the trains on the track. 
To summarize, here's a graphic showing continuous improvement. Continuous improvement is a result of combining good performance and improvement management systems. It is only when the two are combined do you get continuous improvement supported by relentless application of the plan, do, check, act cycle. Visit our website www.leanuk.org or contact us at info at leanuk.org for any other information or how we can support you on your lean learning journey. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.